So on my way from Belize to Canada, I stopped in La Malinche National Park and I'm going to hike the volcano La Malinche. It's a five hour hike to the summit and about two hours back, I'm already out of wind and I'm at kilometer zero. As I ascended the trail, each step brought me closer to the clouds. The path was demanding, testing both my physical strength and mental resilience. But with every obstacle overcome, the beauty of the landscape fueled my determination. I'm at marker 12 right now. I'm at 1.916 kilometers of the six, so I'm about a third of the way up. Yeah, I've got my trail legs now, and uh, just making my way slowly, it's gonna get tougher from here. Still going up. According to my map, I'm at the halfway point. This is a great hike. I've uh, had a terrific view of the village already, and I'm excited to reach the summit. I think I mentioned earlier, I'm staying for two nights at the summit. So I brought lots of water. There's more in my pack and more in my water bottle. So I should have enough. But I'm drinking a lot on the way up, so make sure you stay hydrated. Looks like the coyote's got a rabbit. I don't know if you can see that background. I'm really on top of the world now. Since I am the official representative of the Bandaras Bay Project in Jalisco, I am picking up all garbage on the trail. We can all be ambassadors. Just gonna take a little break here. I'm more than halfway. Si, sí, yo puedo. Perfect bench to sit on. So I reached my place where I'm going to stay tonight. Um, the altitude is playing um, tricks with me. I'm losing my coordination. It takes longer to do anything. It's taking me so long to put up my tent. I'm embarrassed. But it's because of the altitude. And Tomorrow I will get up and hike La Molincha. It's right over there. I chose to set up my camp while still in the tree line surrounded by towering peaks. I felt a profound sense of peace, but also a daunting sense of danger. The memorials from Hikers Pass did not help either. But that's not me. This is what I'm going to hike tomorrow. La Molinga. Molinga? No, I'm Molinche. La Molinche. Two more hours. Two or three more hours. Tomorrow. This reminds me of hiking in northern Saskatchewan. I just boiled some water and I ate dry ramen and I'm just going to drink the water. I think that's more efficient for my body to process it. I just don't want to take um, 
energy away from my body trying to keep warm. It's only 5.20 and I'm jilly. It's already cool. And um, I have um, my boiler to heat water so I can heat water and put it in a warm bag and put that in my, um, I don't have a sleeping bag, but in my wool blanket from Canada. <laughs> And um, I've also insulated my tent a little bit with my pack and an empty water. So I'll let you see that. So that just covers the fly. And if worse comes to worse, I can invite my friend, the dogs, in to sleep with me and keep me warm. Um, they wanted some food, but they wouldn't come in the tent without me giving them food. And I don't want to give them food. But if... I need to. I'll coax them in with some. Honestly, it did scare me a little bit when I saw the cross um, at near my campsite, just beside a fire pit. So, ah, am I afraid? No, I think I'll be okay. Am I naive? Maybe. Before the first light of dawn, at 3.30 in the morning, I embarked on the final leg of the journey, joining a crew that I had heard because my sleep was so restless. Yeah, Tito. Pushing through exhaustion, I summoned every ounce of strength to reach the summit, and as I stood atop La Malinche, the world stretched out before me in all of its glory. I could see Mexico's only active volcano in the distance. In that moment, I realized the true essence of adventure. It's not just about conquering mountains, it's about embracing the journey, finding strength in adversity, and experiencing the wonders of the world firsthand. As I descended from Lava Malinche, I carried with me a newfound sense of gratitude for the beauty that surrounds us and the resilience that lies within us. And so, my journey continues, fueled by the memories of Lava Malinche and the promise of new adventures on the horizon. Subscribe to follow along with me on those adventures. And until next time, happy trekking!